Dating a medic. Where are you? My bad. Has a hole in his thumb. Just said water, we're back again with another pondless build. This one's gonna be awesome. Uh, we are currently in the middle of nowhere. Nothing, nothing, whole lot of nothing. Uh, story behind this is a preview of ours. Uh, they bought this farmland and over the last couple years, they've just kind of turned this little bit into it, into like a family getaway. Uh, the plan is to put a cabin over there, shed over here, tons of stuff for the grandkids to play with, all that. And they are also wanting a little bit of a water feature. So this is going to be awesome. We hardly ever get a hill like this to build on. So it's basically going to be a six to eight foot stream with about four feet of elevation change. So this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna get some whip, whap, some splash, some kadoosh, all that. Should be fun. That's where the waterfall is gonna start. Probably gonna get some three or four drops. So, you know, one here, there, there, something like that. Their viewing angles is this. A whole lot of nothing right now, but obviously, like I said, cabin's going out that way, shed's going there. We're gonna try and hit all three points should be pretty cool i don't know if i'm biased but if i do say so myself they look pretty natural the way we normally do it so should be exciting i don't even know if you guys can hear me with all this wind but bye Day two, back out here in the middle of nowhere, Iowa. We got first waterfall and some grade rocks put in. Base is pretty much done. Just gonna have to build up a little bit around here. Our low point's gonna be this way. That way it just drains out into this natural grade. I don't know how well you can tell on camera. There's a dip here, a swell. They brought up the grade around here. So now there's a big rain and all that. All the water comes down through here. Bam, we've got the base and set a couple inches above it just that way we don't get the nasty runoff into there but if we overflow it's just going to go right in with the rest of the water but anyways who cares about that today the plan is get the plumbing line hooked up in the vault and ran up and out that way as i keep adding dirt and stuff i won't you know we won't have to dig through extra dirt even though it's a lot of dirt but and then obviously rock in Hopefully we can get the feature completely rocked in today and then tomorrow will just be a quick little half day of uh, final cut, tuck, mulch, all that fancy pants stuff, but uh, enjoy the countless time lapses throughout our day. Awesome, hopefully awesome waterfall incoming. So the plan, let me walk you through this. The plan with this one, so the waterfall rock I have isn't very wide. And with this type of pump, we're pushing about, it's gonna be about 7,000 gallons an hour. And that can go over about a foot to two and a half feet wide of a waterfall. If it's only a foot wide, water level is gonna be way higher than I want it. So I'm gonna try and Band, you know, I'll bring it over here. 
here's the waterfall rock right here. It's not very big, you know. So what I'm doing with this, as I was, is English. I'll be shouldering it using this rock here. And the goal is to get it right up to here and so that way this part here is also part of the waterfall rock. Hence widening it. And that'll be shooting kind of right at me, which is pretty much at the corner over there. So let's go. That's a lot of talking. We can just fix that. I'm calling it quits day two we're done Sid already left me he said he had enough um I mean water's running it looks pretty good I mean I'm also a little biased but you know um obviously we're a little rock heavy on this side compared to that side so tomorrow the goal is to come in finish rocking out there I've got some boulders over there for me to use for that then I gotta get rid of all this nasty black tarp the liner Blech. I'll cut, tuck, get that away. And then we got mulch. Finish up my grade work and mulch it. Probably rinse it down some. Finish graveling in areas. This thing's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. I've never lied to you guys though, so. All right, third and final day. Got the system shut off. Um, just because I need the cords out of my way to drive the machine, whatever. Water held, it's all good looks phenomenal uh i am going to change let me see i'm gonna change i think mm, mm, mm. this rock here right here one of in this area one of these rocks is gonna get changed um but first i'm gonna even out the rock work over here put out some outcropping stones all that hold up grade stuff like that make it look natural established everything um, and then it's cut and tuck the liner, get rid of all this nasty black liner, tarp, whatever you want to call it, um, and mulch. And then hopefully we'll be out of here. So, uh, enjoy. This is probably the most satisfying part of the entire build. So here we go.
Well, that's a wrap on another successful pondless build out here. Uh, where are we? We're in Gilbert, Gilbert, Iowa. Success. <laughs> Client came out earlier today and she saw it running, but it wasn't quite cut and tucked yet or mulch. It wasn't completely done. She loved it then. I'm sure she's going to love it now. Um, she's actually having the whole family out later tonight to check it out. Um, bought some extra extension cords just so they can run it because they don't have electrical ran quite yet. That's the next step though. Um, yeah, it turned out awesome. We rarely get conditions like this where we get a natural hill that we get to dig into. That's always super fun. We don't have to berm up. Um, and it turns out looking even more natural. Um, location's awesome. System's awesome. Uh, the sound is amazing. Um, I'm not sure how well the camera or the mic is doing picking up on the sound, but I mean, you can hear it from all four corners of this property. Um, sounds amazing. If you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Um, new video every Wednesday. Uh, daily shorts so you guys can tag along, see how we do, watch our shenanigans, see some cool stuff. Um, yeah, see you next week for another pond. I think it's pond videos next week. Stay tuned. Goodbye.